Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is a live stream highlight from a live stream that happened previously a couple of nights ago. If you're interested in catching the live streams when they happen, then definitely go check out the link to my Twitch channel in the description down below, and hit that little follow notification to be notified when I go live next time, so you can join in on the crazy things that I do during my live streams. But other than that, enjoy the video, enjoy the little highlight, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Like, it copies any card that saw play during the entirety of the game. Like, that's super good. <laughs> it doesn't even have to FTK. We're just using it to copy Electrums. We're using it to play four, five, and six Electromites. Like, what the fuck? Like, who thought this was okay? That card should have had a hard ones per turn on it. 100%. All right, well, you don't have a Ghost Ogre, or else it would have triggered a prompt on this. Uh, so we'll do this special here. Yes, special here. So this should be three Electromites before I Pendulum Summon. So we'll do this, uh, Astrograph into the extra deck, activate this, uh, activate this. Um, I can activate it to add back my Time Gazer, but that's not what I want, actually. Um, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I get to search another Oak Dragon, not a big deal. Okay. So we'll just do this at Astro. I'm not playing the FTK, but I'm still going to negate like three of your cards. Like, that's the thing. Even when this deck doesn't FTK, it like just tries to not let your opponent play. And that's kind of ignorant in its own right. Um, uh, but so, okay. That was so fucking good. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, shit. All right. Okay. So, now, another Electromite. Electromite with these two. Boink. Um, yes. Effect, please. Uh, for another Astrograph. Activate this in the scale. Uh, activate to add back Harmonizing. And then uh, we'll pop it out of the scale and get Astrograph on board again. Boink! The Underclock Taker is just a generic Link 2. It doesn't really matter what it is. It just has to be a generic Link 2 that points down in some way. Uh, but so we'll see. Yeah, so activate this to special. Whee! It's for the Naruto Rank 4, of which I don't play Naruto because that card never comes up. Harbinger or Nightmare or Baguska just better in every single instance. It's hilarious. Um, but so now I can just make another Electromite with these two over here. This will send a... Uh, I don't have a Master Cerberus in my hand yet. So yeah, we'll do that. Well, actually, what's in my extra deck? I need another level 4 Magician, right? Well, no, I've got this. I'll just pin on this from my hand. Um, so yeah, we'll put Master Cerberus in there. Uh, and I can scale this. So I'll activate this. And we'll pop it to add back Astrograph and then search another copy of it. Uh, da, da, da. So we'll do this. I could special this if I wanted to, but I don't. Uh, so yes, we'll add this. Boink. Add another Harmonizing. I can scale this. Pendulum. Uh, I'm doing all this nonsense for this. And then I've got this in my hand already. That's actually really good because that means I can just get Jackal too. Holy hell. Um, I only really care about specialing one from the extra deck. I just want the uh, I want the level 4 Magician so I can do the Black Fang play. Yeah. Uh, so two Magician from hand. And Astro from the extra. And that's all, actually. I'm just not even going to special anything else. Um, Harmonized Magician can go here. Astrograph can go here. And then we'll use this. You almost never actually use Harmonizing's effect, but unless you're just trying to be spicy. Uh, so, special summon for Time Star for these two. Boink. Right here. Search another Astro. Uh, or I could search Jackal. Uh, I could definitely search Jackal and use it. Uh, because these will make Supreme King Starving Venom, which I can then just special add. Yeah. I think I will just get Jackal. That sounds like the better play. Maybe. These get revived. Yeah, I'll just get Jackal. Those are better. Those are better. 
Uh, but so yeah, starving venom with these two here. Copy the, copy the doodad man. Copy the electromite, and now we start using this to destroy black fangs and get back astrographs. Uh, so we'll get back astro, and then black fang will trigger, targeting purple, and then astrograph will trigger, which will add another black fang. Uh, so this is, this is ridiculous. Um, add a monster, yes, Black Fang. This entire play is ridiculous. And I didn't even need to use the Harmonize Condition if I just had, like, uh, if I just had, like, Purple Poisons in my extra deck or something like that. Like, it's kind of cool and ridiculous at the exact same time. Uh, but I've got the Jackal, which I can use to pop and just special summon the Master Cerberus that I did randomly put in there. <sighs> but actually, I don't even think the Master Cerberus is needed at this point. I really don't. Uh, but I can get rid of these into underclock pointing at this. Uh, these two can become another starving venom, which is what they need to be. Yes. They need to be another starving venom. So these need to go here. And these two need to become an underclock. Or a Metaltron. Yeah, they can go with Metaltron. Whee! Because I just need to be able to do this more. Is what I need to be able to do. Activate this. Uh, target the Electromite. Activate, pop. This deck is really unfair. I don't even think I'm gonna end on Vortex either. I think I'm just gonna end on the. Uh, I think I'm just gonna end on the these two on this and the Jackal. Maybe. Oh wait, I just did not summon Astrograph. I just right clicked instead of that. Oh well. Don't worry. It's fixable. <laughs> Place in a Pendulum Zone. Yes. Um. No. Special summon it. Actually, no, it's not fixable because this build doesn't play three Starving Venom. No! I fucked up! Oops. Oops. <laughs> Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Um, it actually just doesn't matter, though. 100% doesn't. So I can just do this. So now this firewall is live. I could activate this. I could Anytime a card dies, I can special this from my hand. Yeah. It's still a strong board. It's just not great. <laughs> I fucked up. I forgot this build doesn't play three starving venom. Cause that's like the play. Um, I think that's an auto negate. Unsure. Yeah, this deck. I cut the I cut the third starving venom for, I think a baguska, which is just objectively incorrect. I believe. Yeah, is there a baguska in this extra deck? What is there? Yeah, there's a Baguska and there's an Omega. I cut it for something. Yeah, that was I, that. I was making my plays, assuming that I was playing a different deck. Oops. Oh well. Still two bounce. Still two interruptions. This and a bounce. This man's playing Fire Kings. I don't even really care. Um, destroying a masterpiece out of his hand to add another masterpiece. What? <sighs> like, I can... Like, that That should tell you exactly how powerful this Pendulum Magician deck is, though. Like, I literally just stopped paying attention to what I was doing. And I still ended on Firewall that bounces a card. <laughs> and a fucking Harbinger. Uh, and, like, as soon as one of these cards dies, this comes out of my hand summoning this. Like, fuck. Um, oh, shit. Wait, what did he add to his hand? Did he add that? I know this negates card effects, right? He added Grunix. Confirm this. What? Why did it confirm that? I don't even think... Oh, because you popped this. Ah, oh, yeah, Masterpiece is a worm, isn't it? Isn't it? Uh, what does this thing do? Um, target a fire, wing beast, beast warrior, special summon it. Oh, this is the first one. When a monster effect is activated, when this monster is on the field, get the activation, destroy the fire monster in your hand or field. Um... That seems silly. Uh, what does this do? Again? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, now you're in the battle phase. Uh, so, what I'm gonna do, right? Do I want the Harbinger to die? No, I don't. Um, but what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this to force a replay. I don't care about the firewall. I really don't. Um, but you're in battle phase now, so at least, like, that's good for me. So yeah, you're gonna negate it, and you're gonna destroy Garunix out of your hand. Cool. 
Um, this thing does something. Um, it's like uh, adds a card back or something. Um, yeah, add one monster from your graveyard or one face of pendulum monster from your extract to your hand. So yes, I'll definitely be doing that. And then I'll be doing this. Um, so I'll do chain link one, chain link two. Uh, and then this can trigger as well uh, to summon my shit out of my hand. So I will. So we'll do that. Special one more monster. Yes, we'll do this. I don't care. I don't care about anything that's about to happen to me. Uh, so what I need is I need a high scale, right? Yeah, I need a high scale. So I'll just get Black Fang. Um, and so I can then summon, because then that'll get destroyed and something will come back from grave, yeah? Like my Time Star or whatever. Uh, that was a good draw. That was a prime draw. So yeah, you're going to blow up my whole field, but it doesn't matter. Yep. Activate, yep, activate. So this is going to summon this from Grave. Here. And then, card to add to my hands is going to be... Is going to be, is going to be, is going to be this. No, I've got a scale. Um, it could be Astro. Will the Astrograph even trigger here? I don't think so. Yeah, okay, it doesn't trigger there. I was confused for a second, but let's see. I have a thing in my grave to summon again now, don't I? No, I don't. But that's fine. Uh, I can activate this. I can still pendulum multiple cards. So what I'll pendulum is I'll pendulum... Uh, nothing's in the grave for me to get back. I can just get Baguzu I can just make it a Baguska, maybe? I don't think that's necessary at all. Um, but I can summon this from hand, and I can summon this from extra deck. So this is here, here. I should have added back harmonizing, actually. It's not going to make Ignister. Uh, but as it stands, this is fine. We'll just summon this. He has to deal with this card, and then when he deals with this card, I just summon the Vortex. Yeah, there we go. I could half this thing's attack, but there's no reason to. Um... Like, he's going to summon a card from his deck, and, like, sure. If it's Yaksha, I still kill it. Oh, it's a Barong? That's still dying. That is 100% still dying. No, I'm not negating the attack. I don't even have an Odd Eyes in my graveyard. Because there's no other ones in my deck. <sighs> so, I honestly probably should have put back one of the Electromites with my Metaltron. Yes. Sure. 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 You had to deal with the card in some way. Like, even dark holding my field three times, you're still losing. Like, you, the, the Fire King deck is definitely not the way this needs to go. I'm going to Pendulum Summon this because I can. So, attack mode, battle phase. Hit. What do you mean you forgot you could do that? It's the entire purpose of playing the card! What do you mean? That just tells me you just don't follow what meta trends are. That's all that tells me. Because, like, that's the entire purpose of the card. The entire purpose. Very much the entire purpose. <laughs> is just to summon Vortex. You don't summon it and attack with it. No, that's definitely not the purpose. Um, been a long time. Glad to see you on here. Yeah, man. Welcome back, Dr. Yu-Gi-Oh. Nope recognize that name but hey man whatever um gonna do that pop that to add that sure um this negates effects or only when it's activated right yeah when a spell trap or what did he add did he add that diagram double check the card log yeah he did all right well one hand one card in his hand is a grunix <laughs> so uh i'm gonna put back uh, I don't think it really matters what I put back at all. I'll put back an Oak Dragon. That destroys this. Fire King Island triggers doing nothing. The Darkness stuff? Don't know. Haven't read it. I don't focus on the future. I focus on the here and now. Could not tell you what a single one of those cards does. Apparently you tribute your opponent's stuff. That's what I've heard. I don't focus on OCG stuff. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter until the day it comes out in the TCG, so I don't focus on it. 
Alright, so we'll just attack for game with this. Alright. We Okay, so we are side decking now. Alright. <sighs> well, I don't know if I go first or second. Uh, but I will take... Wait, no. These cards are probably good for the field spells. These cards are good. Uh, these cards also are probably good, but I'm still taking them out anyway. Uh, Twin Twister is probably a good card to play in this matchup. Maybe? Unsure. Unsure. If I am honest with you, I am unsure over many things. I think the Ash Blossom maybe? No, the Ogre is definitely better. He plays a lot of field spells. He plays like six. Uh, See, so yeah, we'll do that. Um, YouTube name is different from your Twitch. Ah. Oh. I see. Yeah, let's side our Geki in against a, a deck that summons Garunix. Stealth, I also love how you just like casually took my idea that I talked about in the Discord like weeks ago. Of how I was like, I feel like Fire King True Draco is a deck that people just haven't messed with. Which, in theory, it should be really cool. Because like Garunix keeps coming back and popping cards while Masterpiece is just there immune to monster effects. But I also seem to remember saying that it's also not being played because it's shit. So, fair shout. You can have that one. Any normal trap in the game? Well, I mean, like... Traps suck. That's the problem. Like, sure, it gets pretty, it gets search evenly matched. That's like the best normal trap in the game right now. Traps suck. If you're playing pink cards, your deck is bad. Uh, let's see... All right, well, 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 okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, yeah, here we go. This is what the play is. Activate this, activate this, uh, what the fuck? There we go. Thank God I got to cancel that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. So we're going to do this. Yeah, you're going to negate that. Cool. Sure. Absolutely. Activate. To add this back to hand. Wait. Oh, you popped the Ash Blossom. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Um, so I'm going to activate this to, destroy, to half this. And then I'm just going to use it anyway. Big boy, you had no say to begin with. Um, let's see. I've got the Wisdom Eye so I can pop again another one of those. Yeah, so I just want to summon the Jackal. Like, the Jackal's doing nothing. Uh, and then we'll activate this. And then we'll activate this. Pop it. For another Black Fang. Uh, so there's my scales. So now I just get to make a bunch of Electromites. Electromites. Electrums. Uh, Astrograph, yes. Activate, pop this. Astrograph. And now I've got something to protect from a hand trap, too. That's why I was doing that play. This can just remove two to negate this. Negate. And then we'll activate this. Perfect! <laughs> like, come on! Come the fuck on! Why is that allowed? Why am I allowed to do these things? Negate the Ash Blossom, draw my card. I'll play it. Sure. Sure! What is it? What's your other card? What's the next card? What's the next card I get to negate? Ugh. I kind of want to just leave this here. If I'm being honest with you. But I have to get rid of it. Yeah, I do. I do have to get rid of it. It's already done its duty. My boy has come home. All right, so we'll put um, we'll put another astrograph. Where is it? There it is. Astrograph. Uh, activate this. I've got Black Fang and Purple Poison in my extra deck, so that's good. Um, so I can do this for Oaf, just to be chilling there. Yes. Uh, and so now this can activate Hopping Oaf. I can search the wisdom eye. Yeah. Yep. 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 Extra the hand, please. Yes, there we go. Whee! 
Uh, so this gets summoned to here. Monster from deck, yes. Uh, so we'll get Wisdom Eye, which I'll pop for Purple Poison. And then everything is going to be fine and dandy for me. So, Purple Poison here. And so now, I don't have access into making another Electromite, but so I'm going to make Metaltron. Zephyr Metaltron with these two. So that lets me pendle them three from my extra deck anyway. So, Special Summon. Uh, and what I want from my extra deck is I want uh, my two fours from my extra deck. The two dark level fours. So that, Black Fang, and uh, Astrograph. Yes. And I could summon this from hand. I think, actually, yes, I will. Just because it... It, 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 fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, it's the entire reason, is fuck it, uh, but so these will become a time star, we'll start doing the, the play to loop around my, uh, shit, activate, boink, I could half this attack again, just to be cute, but I don't think I need to, so we'll add this from deck to hands. They have to ban Astrograph Sorcerer for Pendulum Magicians to be dead in any variety. Because if Astrograph's at 1, you just loop 1 the same way we're doing it now. That's unfortunate, isn't it? Isn't that an unfortunate sentence? So we just keep doing what we're already doing. Um, but I could just use this to pop. I don't even have to start triggering my shit willy-nilly, so I'll do this. Uh, Absolute. And then I'll link those away into uh, Underclock. Here. And then Absolute will trigger. Summoning this here. No. Do not wish to use. So I'll activate this. I'll half this thing's attack again. Yes. Uh, and I'm going to bring back the Astrograph from my grave. And then I'm going to do special the Astrograph from my hands. And I'm not going to negate anything with this Vortex Dragon. So, boink. Add a card. Yes. Black Fang. I could search my opponent's Ash Blossom. How neat. That's the next play. Hold the phone. Just because I can. Um, we're going to make a Starving Venom with uh, these two. Here. And I'm going to scale this Black Fang again. You best believe. Uh, I made this instead of Electromite because uh, this has more attack. And it makes piercings happen. So, Electromite. And so now I can pop my Purple Poison, which will also pop his card, even though I've been halving it multiple times. Purple Poison, and I'm going to add back Astrograph, and I'm going to use Astrograph, summoning it, and then I'm going to search the, uh, I'm going to search the, um, the Ash Blossom my opponent destroyed with this, uh, Ganesha. Damn it, man. Summon. Here. Yes. I'll add this. Yeah. This thing can search your opponent's cards as long as they were destroyed. So now I've got an Ash Blossom in hand. Deal with it. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, and now this one card has to be something that doesn't get negated by Vortex. Um, fucking wild, right? Now I just have an Ash Blossom in my hand randomly! Ban Astrograph Sorcerer! This card is too fucking powerful! It's absolutely ridiculous how powerful this card is. Like, do you not agree? This card is ridiculously powerful. And if it's at one, you just do all the things that I just did, except I don't make Vortex Dragon. And so now the video's over, I'd like to give special thanks to my patrons, Iradium, Yuki Phoenix, Troy Perkins, Eric Gertson, Tour Guides Guy, and Ringleader, as well as everybody else that's supporting the lower tiers. You guys are forever awesome for the support that you give. You help make things on this channel possible, and I cannot express the amount of appreciation I have for you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support.